curses can start coming off our people and get onto our enemies. Come. We got these curses on us because we breaking the commandments of the Most High. And I know it was a time in your life where you was thinking to yourself, I'm supposed to be learning something, but I don't know what it is. Yeah. This can't be all there is to life. Come. I'm supposed to be learning something, but ain't nobody telling me what it is. That's right. According to the Bible, so your grandmama's going through the Bible talking about the Bible. But we need to know who we are according to the Bible. All right, according to the Bible, man, we are those people who the Bible is written about. Children of Israel is, is the so called black man. All these people right here on these signs right here, the children of Israel, those are the people that the Bible is written about. See? So I want you to understand your identity according to the Bible. Is an Israelite of the tribe of Judah. That's what your grandmother probably probably did not tell you. You're an Israelite of the tribe of Judah. Now that book of life is is, is how you want to. That's where you will find your name written if you keep the commandments of the Most High to get into the kingdom of God. And the kingdom of God has twelve gates, and on those gates you're only gonna find. The 12 tribes of the children of Israel. So, that book of life and all of those things is only open to the children of Israel. So if you are an Israelite, tribe of Judah, then you are blessed, brother. Because you are finding out you are God's chosen people. And as you know, everybody on this side, you know, the whole world is not represented, like the whole population of the earth is not represented by the people on this side. So, if you find yourself on this side, brother, you are greatly blessed. Bro. So now you now you need to know what you need to do to get in the kingdom of the Most High. So what do you need to do in God? Yes, sir. Now you ask a question. You want to know. You want yeah. you want to know right, what you're supposed right, to do, bro. You have got to repent. Yes, she said I got to repent. And repent, God. Repent with your mouth, brother. Face your homeland, Jerusalem. Get on your knees, man, and confess your sins, man. That's what you're supposed to do. You got to repent and then turn from your evil, wicked ways and keep the commandments of the Most High. I told them when I do that, a lot of blessings going to come my way. Well, see, yeah, you're going to be blessed, but you're going to have to go through some hardships, man. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people out here play games think they're going to con somebody and get them tempted. Mm -hmm. You got to be real about this thing. This is a lifestyle change. This is a whole lifestyle change. You got some real? Yes, sir. Brother gonna tell you so much truth. The book of Romans, chapter 11, verse 20 time. Yeah. Excuse me, verse 25. For I would not, brethren, that ye shall be ignorant of this mystery, lest ye shall be wise in your own conceit, that blindness in part is happening to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles become in. Verse 26, as for, for as for all Israel shall be saved, as it is written, there shall come out of Zion the deliverer, and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. So what you gotta do, bro, we're gonna, we're gonna be saved as a nation of people. A lot of our people gonna die with their enemies, and they gonna, they gonna get in the kingdom. But they will be reborn in the kingdom. There's a chance they can come back through their lineage. And there's a chance they can be reborn in the kingdom, bro. But everybody ain't gonna just get in their kingdom. They got those people who did not want to keep the commandments of the most high, they gonna have to be punished and go to that second death, man, and mm. pain. So if you don't want to do that, what you want to do is come back to keep the commandments of the most high. Is it ten commandments, right? No, sir, it's, it's, it's over it's over six hundred commandments, bro. Oh, come. 
It's over 600 it's commands. Like heard a team, I think. Yes, sir. Some people only some people only teach us two. Some teach us ten. But we already know it's way more than ten, bro. Way more than ten. But see, when you're not being taught anything, you live your whole life thinking that you're living a, a righteous life, thinking you're doing something good, thinking you're okay. But you actually is on that on that wide path, that wide path that leads straight to destruction, bro. You gotta go through that little narrow gate, bro. Mm. Only a few people gonna make it through them. Majority of people ain't gonna make it. Only a few people will. You gotta be willing to repent, turn back to keeping the commandments and walk that thin line, bro. Walk that narrow path. Mm. And these churches out here and everything, they ain't gonna tell you nothing about none of that. They ain't gonna tell you your identity. They ain't gonna tell you that the commandments is supposed to be kept. They ain't gonna tell you that um, the kingdom of heaven is only for the children of Israel. And they ain't, they ain't going to tell you that the other nations, they're going to serve us and be our servants and our handmaids because all nations was confederate against us and was instrumental in our downfall and instrumental in our destruction. So all those same nations who have destroyed our people and continue to destroy our people, they're going to have to be punished for what they have done to the children of Israel. But first, we got to repent, keep the Most High's commandments, and then we'll be saved. I was here about repent. Say what, brother? I was here about that word repent. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. That ain't just thinking something in your mind and saying, God, know my heart, and just continue on with your evil, with your life. That ain't repent. Repent is when you confess with your mouth, bro, what you have done wrong, your evilness that you've been living in. Confess those things. Acknowledge your offense. To the, to the most high. Acknowledge your offense to the most high. It's like I be wanting to repent, but I don't want to do it at the last minute. But I don't really want to do it right now. You know what I'm saying? You got to make haste, bro. That's also a con. See, we don't want to play around with this thing because we don't know how much time we got. Mm -hmm. You don't know if you're going to be here. In a, you know, you want to uh, postpone. You don't know if you're going to be around after the postponement, bro. Mm -hmm. So when you get the understanding that what's going on, start getting some understanding as to what, you know, your identity and what you're supposed to be doing, what our people supposed to be doing as a nation of people, then you're supposed to start taking steps then and now. You're supposed to start making more and more progress to doing what we commanded to do. Yeah. Uh, we understand you may not be able to just get it all done right then and there because that's kind of impossible. You got to be taught and trained and built up like a child would be built up. You got to go go back to being a child again in this world. And understand that you got to be taught. You got to be around people that's going to teach you like a child. Yeah. See, everything that you learned, you got to forget those things. But we, we're going to show you where you made your mistakes at according to the Bible and what you've been doing evil. According to the Bible, then you know what well, that's wrong. I, I can't keep doing that. And we're just going to go down the line one thing after the next. So what y'all call like evil? What y'all call it? Evil. Evil. Evil would be being in sin. Evilness. Whenever you, whenever you don't keep the commandments of the Most High, whenever you break the commandments of the Most High, brother, that would be a sin. And when you living in sin, you are living in an evil life. So like killing, stealing, lying. Any any time you are breaking the commandments of the Most High, that would be a sin. All sins are breaking the commandments of the Most High. And if you're living in sin, you are living in evilness. Do we have a scripture? Yeah. Look at 1 John chapter 3, verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. And we know that the wages of sin is death. Mm -hmm. So now you're not going to live a be, you're not going to be evil and be rewarded with life. They may seem perfect. Yeah. It's crazy. Sin, the wages of sin is death. Your, your oppressor, guess who your oppressor is? You know who your oppressor is, brother? These people right here, these people are evil. They're evil. Evil. These are your oppressors. 
these are some of your, these are your main chief oppressors right here. You really can't tell them. You really can't tell? Nah. How come you can't? You who, who put, you put, who put our people on the damn slave block? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so yeah. you can't tell that they evil as hell? Yeah, I don't doubt about that. Yeah, they, they did that to our people. They, yeah. they, they, they auctioned our people off. They sold our people. You know what I'm saying? And that's, they're sending right there, right? See, they, 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 they are evil as hell. They just yeah. evil as hell. Okay, okay, okay. These, these are the devil. These are the synagogues of Satan, right? So being evil, it come back on you, right? It damn sure do go come back. See, what? See, here's the thing. Those people are evil because that's in their nature to be evil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right? Now, we can get evil and be like them, but then we are being sin, bro. Mm -hmm. Because we was created to be holy and righteous and good. To have the spirit of the most high in us. They was created to have the spirit of Satan in them. They was created for that. They are the vessels of wrath fitted for destruction. They are fitted. These are the vessels that contain the spirits of Satan. We are the righteous good vessels that's supposed to contain the spirit of the most high, your house. By Hashem, my mother, your house is Their job is to be that way, to be evil, the wicked. That's their job. So they don't you know, they only being what they was created to be. Now you're gonna come across some who not really acting like that out in the open and so on and so forth. They don't let them fool you, bro. They was created to be evil. You may have some here and there that's not who not who really not trying to be that away, but that's what they was made for. And it's eventually gonna come out of it. So our job is to be obedient and keep the commandments of the Most High, but most of us are not going to do that. What well, we was created to be. Most of us go follow behind them and the rest of our oppressors. Yes, sir. Look at uh, Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. Now that's how you get that key. That's how you get that, that kingdom of the Most High. Repent therefore and be converted so that your sins may be blotted out. Repent and be converted so that your sins can be blotted out. It's a, it's a, it's a work in progress, bro. Don't let it just happen just like that. You, you got work to do. Hey, the brother, uh, uh, you asked, you was like, are we going to be judged for our sins? Yeah, the Lord, he going to judge us for our sins, but ultimately, if you repent, keep the commandments and convert your soul the Lord can forgive you for that you see what I'm saying he can forgive you now he still can judge you for it but he can forgive you for that and blot out the rest of your sins but will he always forgive you though no not if you uh, willfully sin you see what I'm saying the Lord ain't like how they paint the picture you just gonna come to church give a yeah. few dollars and then your sins gonna be blotted yeah, out know, right. you see what I'm saying right. you got to actually change your ways repent means yeah. change you can, like the brother said earlier it ain't gonna be where you just uh Say it out your mouth, I'm a change, and then you never do and expect the Lord to accept your words. But the Lord gonna look at your actions. See what I'm saying? The Lord gonna look at your actions and see what you're doing. See, this world got us messed up in the head thinking that everything supposed to be unconditional. We got unconditional love. Unconditional. Well, it's conditions with the most high. Gone. Right. Gone. Gone. Condition. What's up? The book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 26. For if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sins. Uh, once you get the knowledge of see, that's what see, that's one one of the reasons why that sacrifice sacrificial law had to be done away with. Mm -hmm. So all we want to do is be a wicked and evil and wicked as hell, and think we're finna sacrifice some goats and some lambs and some doves and spill the blood of these animals and our sin be forgiven and now we we free to go out there and cut up again cut up some more so we had the, the most high he got tired of us playing some stupid games with him and we, we weren't genuine genuine with what we was doing we weren't really trying to make a change we just trying to get over and play the system like like the brother just read if you coming to the knowledge of this truth and then sin willfully just like they were doing in the past time continue to sin willfully then got the knowledge of the truth but you just want to keep on going 
there remains no more sacrifice for those things. See, we think because we got grace, then we can just continue to live like this. Uh, we got a free pass. That grace is just for a certain set time, bro. And then that grace period will run out. And when that grace period run out, you're going to have to pay up. So you best go ahead and get this stuff paid up now. Before that grace period. Because you don't know when that grace period will run out, bro. Yeah. You just don't know. You don't know how much time we got. I be wanting to, man. Yeah. I want my anger to get to me though. Your anger? Yeah, and I am. Ain't no forgetting how I'm trying to change type. You know, I ain't never killed nobody before. I never robbed nobody before. Nothing. I might look like it, but man, I ain't never did nothing like that before. I just go to work and chill. I ain't really never. I'm going to tell you what's going to help you, man, get your anger under control, bro. What's going to help you to get your anger under control if you think you may have an anger issue. What you need to do to get your anger under control is you got to get away from Come. evil, wicked people Come. who brings about evil communications telling you to do everything other than keep the most highest commandments. Who gonna be influencing you with things they saying, doing, or just giving you bad advice or giving you no advice. No, get crazy. away from around them kind of people. My mama stay right here, right? So what you gonna have to, also too, brother, must as well as get away from them people you got to get around people that's going to bring this understanding to you so that you can't keep the commandments of the most high so that you can be taught and shown and instructed how to keep the commandments how to keep the holy days of the most high then you're going to be around people that's going to lift you up bro that's so what i've been doing lately I, I, my mama she stay right here right i just came back here like a month ago I had to realize all them boys in West End, they were trying to, they wanted to tell me nothing positive. Everything just negative. All the girls all around, they weren't telling me nothing good. I just came back home a month ago. I just been by myself lately. I peed it myself. You know, I was trying to tell me nothing positive. Everything just bad. See, this world is designed to make you snap and go off. Bro. You really? Yeah. You got something else? Yes, sir. Bring it on. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 33. Be not deceived. Evil communication corrupt good manners. Evil communication will cause you to lose your cool, brother. That's crazy. That's in the Bible, right there? First yeah. Corinthians chapter 15, verse 33. Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. Being around people that's going to tell you everything other than your identity and what you're supposed to be doing as a nation of people. What our job is as Israelites, those things will corrupt your manners, brother. And had you living like everybody else around you that you think you think they're the only people around the people that like that mm -hmm. but it's people like us out here too not too mean i made a couple you see only oh, very few of us yeah. out here bro so what you need to do is you need to take this opportunity the downtime you got because you got some leisure time to learn brother you need to take advantage of your leisure time right and get get um some understanding you know Get some some teaching to your identity, your nationality, to your people and your God. That's what this leisure time is supposed to be used to do. To be learning about what you're supposed to be doing and learning about your God. Right. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. There you go. The book of Psalms, chapter 34, and verse 11. Come, ye children. Hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Verse 12. What man is he that desire of life and love of many days, that he may see good? Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking God. Depart from evil and do good. And do what? And, and do, do good. good. Depart from evil and do good. Come Depart from evil. You're not even supposed to be around people that live in an evil, wicked life. You're supposed to limit your time around them. Now, I understand you may have to go work around them and stuff like that. Yeah. If you're not going to be bringing them the word of this, the most high, you ain't got no business around them, bro. Uh -huh. If you're not going to be teaching them to, to turn them from their evil, wicked ways, you ain't got no business around them, bro. Right. Mm. 
So if you don't have to be right there with them, partaking and listening to that shit they talking about, mm -hmm. then why are you still there? Right. So the most high want us to, he wants to understand, we don't even supposed to just be socializing and kicking it around folks like that. Because mm -hmm. one is going to overtake the other, brother. Right. Either they go overtake you or you go overtake them. Mm -hmm. Who go lead who? And if you ain't trying to teach them then and lead them, then you need to get away from around them before they start teaching and leading you. That's right. You need to get around your brothers, man. Learn this word, man. Learn who you are, man. Learn your nationality. Learn your identity. Learn who you are, your, your, your culture, man. The Bible is a, a, our history book, the history book of the Israelites. You're an Israelite. Oh, right. right. See, the Bible talks about everything that we've been going through over here in the United States and, and what happened to us before this, and it also talks about what's going to happen to us after we get the hell out of here. And these churches will never tell you, man, that you are God's chosen people. You are the greatest people on this earth, man. You are a God on this earth, a king and a ruler. Yeah. But you must keep the commandments of the most. These churches ain't going to teach you that. Yeah. They're going to teach you that. Everybody the same. We're all equal. Yeah. yeah. They, that's what they'll teach you. They'll teach you everybody, everybody the same. But the, the, the scriptures don't teach you that. They teach you that you are God's chosen people and above everybody else. But you got to keep the commandments of the Most High. Come back to who you are. Learn your identity, bro. And, and get around your brother so you can be taught. So that you can develop into a, a man that the Most High made you to be. So that's what you got to learn, bro. You ain't gonna be able to learn that being by yourself and being around them evil, wicked people that you be around, bro. You ain't gonna learn none of this. You're not gonna learn like you're supposed to learn. You wanna speed things up, you know what I'm talking about, brother? You don't wanna slow things down. You wanna speed things up. Just like this brother right here, man. He, he wanna learn. He wanna keep learning. There's a lot of our people wanna keep learning. You gotta do just like them. You gotta come back like a baby. Ask questions. Be willing to listen to the answers. See that the, the meaning you got when you listening and you, you talking from time to time, but you do more listening than you do talking, that's going to help you. Mm -hmm. Be around people that's going to encourage you to stop the, the bullshit. It's going to call you, that's going to point out the, where you're making mistakes at. See, the world will have you thinking that, hey man, you ain't supposed to criticize them that I'm doing because we friends be buddies you know you supposed to be on my side no 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 if you're doing wrong I'm supposed to stop you from I'm supposed to point that out to you bring that to your attention and show you explain to you how you're going against the most highest word how you're going against God by doing those things because God will kill you for that God will punish you for that he will allow your enemies then people like that people who think like them he will allow them to punish you These are your enemies. They put out here to punish us. God sends them against us. When we break the Most High's commandments and sin against God, He sends our enemies to punish us. That's their job. So, your brothers are supposed to tell you when you're doing something wrong so that you could be free from the hands of those who hate you. Say so what, brother? Well, not the people you've been running with. The people who keep the commandments of the Most High, they'll tell you. That's what we're trying to get you to understand. You're an Israelite. We're supposed to be bringing you this understanding. As long as you want to learn, you're supposed to keep bringing it to you so you can continue to learn. As long as you want to take the next step and continue to grow and come back to keeping the commandments, we're supposed to be helping you to help you to be able to do that, bro. That's our job. Even if you don't want to learn, we're supposed to be right there for you whenever you decide to come back and learn. We're supposed to still be there for you. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. The book of 1 Peter, chapter 2, chapter 1, and verse 23. Seeing, verse 20, 22, seeing ye have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the Spirit unto unfine love of the brethren. 
See that ye love one another with a pure heart fervently. Being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. I'm excuse me. First Peter chapter 2, verse 2. As verse 1. Wherefore laying aside all malice and all guile and hypocrisies and envies and, uh, and all evil speakings as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that ye may grow thereby. So you gotta put away all the evil speaking bits. You gotta get away from around people that do all the evil speaking so you can purify your soul, bro. So you can purify your souls to, to where you can be acceptable in the sight of the Most High. You gotta get away from around them kind of people. You gotta love our brothers. And loving our brothers is keeping the commandments and treating you like people who keep the commandments will treat their brother. That's showing you love. So showing you love is what we gotta do so that you take that next step Talking to you about these commandments is showing you love, telling you your identity, telling you you gotta keep the commandments of the most high. That's showing you love. Huh? Like, I'm, like I'm supposed to love my brother. So that they can take the stuff they need to take to get away from evil speaking so that they can purify their soul. Huh? So everybody got work to do, brother. You got work to do, and it's a shame that you weren't taught these things. We, it, it just, it just bad. It just bad on all of us as a people. But this is what we put ourselves through because we, just, we, we were refusing to be obedient to the Most High. So we put ourselves through this, brother. Now that work was passed on to you. Now you got to do it. You got to do it at, at this late, late stage. In that sense, you're an old man, but you're not a, a toddler. You should have learned this stuff. From the time you started learning how to talk, you've probably been learning this too. From then to now, you've probably been learning all this stuff. But you gotta do it. Whether you did it then or not, you still gotta do it. Uh -huh. So don't, see this is what our people need to understand, man. You're not <laughs> helping your children by sheltering them from this truth. Uh -huh. You are, subjecting them to a hell of a lot of damn turmoil, pain, curses, injuries, and destruction. And they still got to turn right around with all them injuries. They still got to turn around with all that destruction and all that hell that they've been endured. They still got to turn around and do what we talking about doing. Huh. Injured, beat up, broke down, skint up, and still got to do this. Best teach, teach it to them while they're young, so that they can, so that they can minimize their errors and mistakes in life. Cause they still gonna have to do it. See, that's showing. Now you got to hate somebody to make them go through all that, all them bad times and bad memories and bad affliction, you got to really hate them to send them through that just so they can turn around and do what you ain't been teaching them, thinking you was being kind to them and sheltering them. They still got to go through these things. They might as well learn young, avoid the problems, and then come on in to keep the commandments with less hardships and less hassle so that they can teach it to the next generation. So them curses can start coming off our people and get onto our enemies. Oh. We got these curses on us because we breaking the commandments of the Most High. Not teaching your children is suicidal. Oh. It's destroying our people as a nation. So not teaching your children is suicidal. Mm. Because we can't survive and thrive and be, well, we always go survive, but we can't thrive and come back up onto the top of society where we should be until we keep the commandments of the Most High. That's the only thing that's gonna bring us back up to the top. The book of Revelation, chapter 22 and verse 14. 
Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life. That's what you were talking about earlier, right there. That's what your grandma was telling you about. Blessed are they that do his commandments, so that they can have right to the tree of life. The ones who do his commandments. So it's still good that your grandma was telling you that. Because even though you wasn't taught to do the commandment, she put that on your mind to get that tree of life. And the scriptures are saying, blessed are those who do his commandments. Not two, not ten. Blessed are those who do all his commandments. And strive and struggle to do them. Get around, get around brothers. What'd you say, brother? I was 600. Yes, he said the whole thing. Yes, sir. Man, I ain't never know. I thought it was just 10, man. That crazy. I thought it was just 10. And then most people who think it's just 10, they can't even name the 10. <laughs> I just know. I mean, they, people, most people say, it's just 10. You ask what those 10 are. They don't even know what those 10 are. Yeah, I just know about two, man. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't But you just got to see. Just be around your brothers, man, so you can learn. Every, just, just learn this way of life, learn this this, this proper walk. And you gonna be keeping the commandments, whether you can count them all or not, bro. You gonna be taught to keep them, because if you start breaking them, somebody go point out it, bro. You know, you don't need to do that. That's going against commandments. You ain't gonna say, well, what number is that? Is that number, uh, that number 400? You ain't gonna say, you just gonna learn what those commandments are. And that's what we are here to do. Bring this to your mind, to bring it back to your remembrance so you could bethink yourself. See, these things, is, see, you want to know this, and I know it was a time in your life when you was thinking to yourself, I'm supposed to be learning something, but I don't know what it is. Yeah. This can't be all there is to life. Come. I'm supposed to be learning something, but ain't nobody telling me what it is. That's right. I bet you had that thought sometime in your, in your life. Now you are bethinking yourself right now. You are remembering that. Yes, sir, okay. The book of book of Deuteronomy, chapter 8 and verse 1. All the commandments which I command thee this day shall ye observe to do, <coughs> that ye may live. And that's what we want. No, nah, brother. See, living over here under your oppressors, they give you a lot of laws to live under. You are under thousands of laws. Thousands and thousands. That's the reason why they build all these damn prisons. That's the reason why people are living in the damn slummy areas, living in trash and debris area where we go in our community. See, that's the reason why we hate our brothers and sisters without even understanding why. Because they turn us against each other because we ain't keeping the commandments of the Most High. The Most High, he, he promised us, man, that we were going to go through these curses if we don't keep his commandments. It's easy to keep the Most High's commandments and get all them blessings. So Just think of all the blessings you gonna get, brother, by being obedient, man. Yeah. You gonna be the Most High gonna be blessing you, blessing our people as a whole. When we come back to keeping the command, we will be blessed so much. We ain't gonna be thinking about it's a lot of commandments. We are gonna be enjoying them blessings, brother. Oh. You got me wanna learn all six hundred on that, man. Oh, 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 yes, sir, oh, brother. Man. Yes, sir. Uh, hey, hey, we want a teacher. We want a teacher. We want a teacher. You got children, brother? No, no, no. Okay, well, the Most High wants you to get this understanding because he wants you to have children, but he wants you to be able to teach your children to be obedient to him. He don't want you to bring children into the world and don't teach them about him and teach them how to be obedient to him. You gotta teach your children from the time they born to the time they, to, even after they leave your home, you're supposed to be teaching your children. So he might, he might want you to get this understanding so that, you can't, so that you can get you a wife and a children. He wants you to have that, but he wants you to have this understanding to build your foundation on the solid rock. Come then up. you get your child and teach your child right. Could this come first? This foundation come first. 
and you build everything on top of that and everything will be added that you need be added to you brother you get that firm solid foundation that every brother need it. I ain't gonna say every brother but you know you, you need a wife you need help you need help brother you gotta have somebody to help talk to you you understand yeah, you can, but you got to get this understanding first, brother, because without this understanding, you don't know what the hell to look for in a woman. Yes, huh? yeah. It's the book of Proverbs. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 4 and verse 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. You see that, brother? What wisdom is? Wisdom. That's being able to understand uh, right from wrong, good from evil. Huh. Wisdom is under being able to understand, being able to know what you're supposed to be doing in life. So when y'all get angry, what do y'all do? Well, well there's lots of things. We ain't just one or two things we do. There's lots of things we can do. But whatever we do, we ain't going to break the most highest command. Come so. We're we gonna stay within the we gonna stay within the within the commandments within the with, within the boundaries, bro. We ain't gonna go outside of that. And if we do, a brother gonna bring us back, or we gonna ask that brother to help us and, and get back. We ain't gonna just be out there on our own, man, dealing with things on our own because we ain't supposed to be out there on our own in this truth. Huh. Bring it on out. The book of Ephesians, chapter four, verse twenty-six: Be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. So you can be angry, brother. We just don't sin. We just don't go outside the Most High's commandments because we be angry. Can I, I just can't get mad at you and smack. Say again, bro. Like, but God said, people smoking and staying out the way. Except you for smoking. Yeah, you for smoking. yeah but see, you don't want to see. You the temple of the Most High, and, and, and any man defile the temple of the Most High, the Most High will destroy that temple. Huh. Don't you know the Most High live inside of you? Now if you. If you most high supposed to be inside of you and you trash in the place, you disrespecting the most high, man, because he you a, you his you a temple that he told to dwell in. You remember what we told you earlier that these folks right here, your enemies, they are a vessel that contains Satan. But you are a vessel, the clean vessel that is contains the most high in you. So you are a temple, and if any man defile that temple, that temple, the Most High will destroy. There you go. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 3, and verse 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. So you got to work on that problem right there, brother. Yeah, bro. You gotta work on that, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ain't no anything goes with the Most High, man. Ain't no so anything I goes. I can't do reading the Bible and going to church and still smoke weed. I gotta stop smoking weed. Bro, yeah, you gotta, you gotta stop smoking weed. Anything that you're doing that's gonna defile your temple, brother, uh -huh. you're gonna have to stop doing it. They calm down right there, though. Well, see. That's, that's because you ain't got the, the truth to stand on. That's all you have. Just, see, I knew plenty of people like that. They, they needed that weed, man, to calm down. And if they didn't have that weed, they'd be damn mental case. They'd be damn, damn they got to take brain pills. Anybody got to take brain pills, you got to, you got to, you got, you got, a, you have an issue that you, that you are neglecting. That is something that you are not handling, that you relying upon that to, uh, to lean upon that be a substitute yes sir so no drugs at all no 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 drugs at all you, now you can drink um a little beer a little wine oh, okay. just, don't right just don't get drunk brother just don't get drunk because don't get drunk, drunk Th too drunk don't get drunk brother. Sure. you bring tell the brother about <clears throat> first peter chapter 5 verse 8 be sober be vigilant because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion Walketh about seeing, seeking whom he may devour. See, when you, when you, when you take it, start hitting that, the, the, them, them joints and shit, now you're high. Yeah, yeah. 
you know, that was the whole purpose. Of, you know, you ain't trying, you ain't, you, you know, people say, I got medical problems, I need this for my medical, you know, eat it then. Cook it and eat it. Or just eat it, eat it raw. Or just, you know, off the, off, off, off the stem, eat it off the stem then. You can get it in your system if you really, try, you got some medical issues. You can get it in your system, you can eat it off the stem. You can cook it then. You can get it in your system. Don't smoke it. Now you're getting high. What you say, bro? I was about to say like, uh, like the actual, the actual herb, uh, cannabis, is not uh, okay. It's an herb that we use to heal ourselves, but most people don't use it for that, for that purpose. They use it to get high. See what I'm saying? So you use the herbs for a great, for a good purpose. See what I'm saying? You want to heal yourself, heal yourself with the herb. But it's other stuff you can do. I had a, like, going through anxiety, depression, and everything like that. There's other things you can do besides doing that. Don't don't revert back to, to that just to get you high. And then next thing you know, as soon as your high come down, now you think about the problems again. Oh, now I got to run back to the weed. See what I'm saying? You can't, that, that ain't doing nothing but running from the problem like the brother's uh, going into. Basically just putting a Band-Aid on it and not uh, actually dealing with the issue at hand. You know what I mean? Yeah. I know a lot of people, man, took their weed from, they lose their damn mind. They start beating their children. They start cussing people out. They ain't never dealt with their issues and learned how to deal with things. They never learned how to do those things. They just let their weed get a hold to them. They, yeah, see, I can't two days. Okay, well, you, you might just have to gradually get off of it. You know what I'm saying? But understand that you, gotta, you need to be putting some effort into that. You gotta be actually put some effort into that. All right, because you're the temple of the Most High, man. You ain't just a damn uh, black person or a damn African American, all that old bull crap. You are the greatest people on this earth, man. You God chosen people, yes, uh. His chosen people, the people that He gave the laws to, the people that He gave the commandments to, the people he, who He commanded to read His Word in the Bible. He only told us to do that. He ain't told no damn body else on earth to read his scriptures, but us. See? Now, you heard about your how you heard about who they call Jesus. You ever heard about him smoking anything? You heard about drinking some wine though, right? Get you some wine, brother. Get you some wine. Freeze up. First Timothy chapter 5, verse 23. Drink no longer water, but use a little wine. For thy stomach's sake, and thine often infirmities. See that? It heal you. It, it might help your stomach digestion, whatever. You got a little look or other little stuff. Just don't get high, brother. You drink it. Just don't get drunk. See. Just don't be no um uh what you call a a, a, a drunkard. I get less lean. Like what you say, bro? Get a little tip, just, I can feel it a little bit. Yeah. 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 Get your right. nice buzz going on. You know what I'm saying? Get your nice buzz. But don't get to the point where you you gotta you gotta have your homeboy to hold you. You walking out the oh, door, yeah, throwing yeah, yeah. up. You can't defend yourself if somebody came and try to do something to you. See, the Lord teaching us uh, wisdom and knowledge. Like, hey, why would we want to get drunk to the point where we falling out on the floor and we don't know who put us in the bed at night? You see what I'm saying? Hey, next thing you know. Hey, it could be somebody who hates you. Now they want to do something uh, dirty to you. You know what I'm saying? And you can't even defend yourself. But the, hey, if we listen to the Lord, He said, "Hey, don't don't do that. Don't get drunk." And everything. Else. See, don't abuse it like that. Don't abuse it because again, you are the temple of the Most High. See, now you now you overdoing it, and you you you're breaking your body down, you're breaking yourself down again. So that's why the floor, the devil playground. Say what? The club, the devil playground. I guess. You said the club. My, my grandma used to have me there right there too. Them already go to the club. Like clubs and bars and all that right there. See, now, if you up in there with a whole bunch of people, man, that don't love the most high, they don't care nothing about keeping the commandments of the most high. They don't care nothing about, they don't care nothing about being obedient, keeping the commandments. You, again, see, you want to, you don't, you want to limit your time around the people. You, you 
constantly listen to that bullshit music they playing, and, and they always want to play that bullshit music live. Yeah. To where you can't even have a decent conversation, or you, your ears may be messed up, the, uh, your eardrums is, is uh, damaged by being in there too, too long. You need that with everything sound muffled around you. See, the, every, everything is in excess up in there. Because you up in there with people who don't love the most high. They ain't trying to keep none of his commandments. You up in there with people who hate hate God, basically. Okay. So you don't you want to limit your time around them. You know, you spend more time around brothers who will teach you right from wrong according to God. You need to learn that. You need to learn, be around that. Learn how to operate and, 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 and handle yourself according to according to how the most high I want you to handle yourself. Then you could probably go in these damn places from time to time on rare occasions. You can go in these places and you won't let that shit overrule and override your thinking. <laughs> because you just grounded on the foundation, bro. You just in there just kind of like watching, looking around at, at, at what all this crazy stuff. And then even in there, you're going to start trying to see ways of what you can do to bring the most highest word to these folks up in here before you leave. You're going start, to start having that thought like, I believe I, believe I could, that person right there probably need this word. Or this pro, the person right there probably, they're a good person probably right there to bring this word to. You're going to start having them thoughts while you're up in there. Uh, you still gonna be trying to fight for the most high even in a place like that. Uh, See, when you start thinking like that, then you're ready. Mm. Until then, you don't need to be going up in the damn places, bro. Cause they go ahead, you thinking how they think, doing what they do, moving how they move.